Welcome everyone to part two of this uh, mini series um, of tips on riding scooter if you're a beginner. Um, this is part two and uh, we'll just uh, continue with a few more pointers but before I do that I want to make a big big uh, um, disclaimer. Uh, currently because of the temperature which is probably up in the 30s with high um, humidity levels it is absolutely baking hot here so I've got shorts on uh, and I wouldn't recommend anyone who rides a machine on two wheels to ride unprotected you should always have your helmet there you should always have um, long trousers on sturdy shoes but in this weather uh, it's just too hot and impractical most people in time will ride around in flip-flops and sh shorts some don't even wear a shirt but um, that's the disclaimer um, I urge you to wear the appropriate clothing um, to protect yourself in case of a, an accident right so let's um, let's continue with the, uh, the, the this vlog right to get the machine started um, you've got on the bike as we said yesterday from the side stand side on this particular bike you have to switch the switch on this is a keyless bike so you have to be in close proximity of the uh, sender which is on my um, neck tag and to start the bike as we said the ignition switch is here but if I push it at this moment in time it will not start and that's for two reasons number one the side stand is down if the side stand is down you cannot start the bike it's as simple as that let me just show you the side stand is down try to push and it's not working what you have to do is to pull in your back brake on your left hand side then push the ignition and your bike will start up it's a safety feature of lots of modern day bikes that your rear brake is on and you've got control of the bike when it starts so let me just do that again the ignition switches on and left arm rear brake is in installed the bike has done its sequence through the control panel and you turn the bike on it's as simple as that now to pull away and I don't want to get into the principles of riding a bike uh, you know it is most people have got a bike and they will do know how to do it the bike is under control you've got the back brake on give it a bit of revs and when you feel the bike want to move you let the rear brake off and away you go and accelerate away it's as simple as that now to actually ride around in Thailand through the traffic takes a little bit of skill and the skill that or the skill that you need or the discipline that you need is how to slow ride filter through traffic a lot of your time in a Thai city is spent filtering through traffic so let's just have a look at how we filter through traffic safely and under control right so let's have a look at um, controlled um, slow riding 
even in these controlled situations I still put a helmet on for safety because you never know what will happen now to ride slowly there's a technique of using the engine against the rear brake you do not touch the front brake because what will happen you will dip the bike like that and it will off balance you and that's where you tend to fall off now I will just do a U-turn and show you how the back brake is reacting to the engine to give me stability and control at slow riding. Now I'm applying the back brake now, but also keeping the revs constant so that I can control the bike quite easily while moving. I'm moving very slowly now, less walking pace. I've got the revs up, the bike is wanting to move and I'm controlling it by the rear brake, not the front brake. If I do the front brake, this is what happens. It dips and you become unstable. So this is a, a little technique that you need to master or practice for slow riding. It helps in filtering and keeps your feet on the running boards at all time. So let me just show you that again. I've got the bike moving at walking pace. I'm applying the rear brake, now turning the bike to go in a U-turn under controlled conditions. Now to actually do this while practicing, what you need to do is not look at the floor in front of you. When I turn, I'm looking at where I want to go. My head is turning, it turns my shoulders, thus making the bike go exactly where it wants to go or where I want it to go. If you look at the floor when you're doing this, guaranteed you will end up on the floor. It is a, a sequence or a manoeuvre that needs a little bit of practice. Once you've got the hang of it, it's very easy to implement and will help you 100% in slow riding in traffic and filtering situations. There is a hell of a lot of traffic in Thailand and you need to be able to filter slowly. I can actually demonstrate the filtering technique by using a figure of eight sequence because the figure of eight I'm turning my head looking where I want to go coming around the other side I'm turning my head looking where I want to go I'm using my rear brake against the engine and it's as simple as that that little exercise will make your life a little bit more enjoyable when filtering through traffic. You've got full control, you're not putting your feet down, you're not waving your legs all over the place. You've got control of the bike every moment of the way. So let's just have a little recap here. Is that once you've got the bike started, you've got your feet either side. Once you've got the bike in a moving position, you bring your feet up to give you stability on the bike. If you wave your feet around, um, trying to 
control the bike. It just gets very messy and you tend to off balance the bike completely. So I'm moving away, feet go on the bike, I'm going very slowly, and I've got control of the bike. If I start doing this, you can see by the handlebars that I lose stability of the bike. I do it from the other perspective. Keep your feet on the running board at all time. That's what the running board's there for. Now, when you come to a stop in traffic, this is how you should stop. Apply the brakes, put your left foot down. Don't put both feet down in heavy traffic. The reason being is that we tend to ride nearer the curb. So therefore, when you put your foot down, when you put your foot down at the curb side, you've got the protection of the curb on your left hand side. If you put both feet down, that's where all the cars are going past you. And you sometimes can get a car going a little bit too close, and that's when he runs over your foot. So let's just recap on uh, things that we've learned. The bike is stationary, parked. We want to get on it, so we come to the side where the stand is, not the other side. We mount the bike. We make ourselves comfortable on the bike and get it stable. We put away the side stand. We engage the rear brake. We turn on the ignition. Let it do its cycle. Then start the bike up. Once you've got to start the bike up, you've looked in your mirrors, you can see behind you if you need to adjust them, adjust them. And then a quick look over your shoulder, just as a shoulder check and pull away. As soon as you pull away, put your foot, feet up on to the running boards. For filtering in traffic, and you want to slow ride, feet on the running boards. If you to turn and you brake against the engine to turn the bike. It's a very simple procedure, but one needs to practice it to become proficient in it. It's quite easy to, to do with a little bit of practice. Now this can be done doing this I do this on a 1300cc at home quite easily. So there, there you have it, very simple procedures that will help you in traffic and slow riding. Um, they do need a little bit of practice, especially the slow riding aspect of it. Apply the brake, apply the throttle. You do not touch the front brake under any circumstances of your bike will dip and it will unsettle you. Um, just a side note to this, I, I was again talking to someone the other day after doing the video and they asked me what I was doing, I explained, and he was a Thai guy and he said, why, why, everyone knows how to ride a bike. Um, and I thought that was very, very typical of the people that do ride bikes in Thailand. They're not necessarily trained, but they do ride the bike and it's, it causes, this is where the problems come. Um, most people in Thailand ride a bike as soon as they can walk. So um, for your own safety, you need to be aware. Make sure that you're aware what's in front of you. Remember, eyes up, eyes up. And what's behind you, that's what the mirrors are there for. You, control the, you can control speed of people following you by your speed and keeping an eye in the mirror of what's going on. Slow speed riding needs practicing and will help you in busy conditions. But um, that is it really. Uh, well, one other thing. Um, looking around and observing how people ride on the roads here in Thailand. I'm not 100%, uh, it's not 100% sure that uh, uh, it's the locals that cause the problems. There are lots of phalangs, um, foreigners, that jump on a bike, whiz around, no helmet, um, 
no shirts, think, because they've seen the locals ride in an unfavourable manner, they can do the same. And they're the ones that uh, you've got to watch out for, because they are everywhere and becoming a pest. So, um, until the next time, I'll re do a recap, but I hope you found a couple of little pointers here useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you a little bit.